honestly, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen a couple videos already, so I just feel like we're friends. Ding! Welcome back, guys. I am back with another braces update. Woo -woo. I know that it's been a little bit since my last braces update. I honestly have reasons, so I only still have my top braces. I still only have the top ones on right now. And I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be so patient for these bottom braces because honestly, personally, I feel like that's where I am going to see the most improvement is in my bottom teeth. Um, my top teeth were never too bad to begin with. It was just being a kid, being stupid. I messed up my front two teeth and obviously those are the ones that you see the most. So let's get on with this video I'm just gonna give you a little update it's not gonna be a long one it's gonna be more of a shorter video um cuz like I said there's only there's only really so much that I can update you guys on right now once I have the full-on shabam once I have both my top and my bottom ones I feel like I could be a little bit more consistent with progress videos but right now I'm just gonna show you guys an up close of where my teeth are right now I hope that you can see my teeth but that is the point of this close-up because the lighting I want you guys to just be able to see where my teeth are at now and then you can look back at my old videos and see like the improvement so I know that I know that I probably look crazy filming this part but oh well um, compared to my beginning videos you can see there has been a lot of progress within my top teeth with the, which I'm like ecstatic about I'm so excited like I said I'm paying for this out of my own pocket so you want to see the like you want to see the results uh, within that just a little bit of updates on how like the braces have been I can say that after the first initial like getting them put on that was probably obviously that hurt the most because it was like a shock to my teeth and my gums and everything like within my mouth but after that going and getting them tightened was a piece of cake I mean I wouldn't say a piece of cake because you do feel like okay they're tighter you can tell um, you get that pressure again but honestly I feel like once you've had braces you get excited for that feeling at least me I get excited to go get my um, braces tightened some people get nervous because they think that every single time they go to get their braces tightened it's gonna feel like the original um, honestly maybe it does for some people but for me at least I don't feel that way I, they get a little tender again but it's not to the point where I have to go back to eating ramen and mashed potatoes majority I can eat the, the foods that I'm normally used to but it's just tender so I have to take my time I have to you know take small bites actually try and be gentle with my teeth when I get them tightened but other than that it's not like excruciating pain it's not something that you can't bear I like I said look forward to going to get my teeth tightened because then I know that they're moving again I know that they're shifting I know that the job is getting done I feel like once you have braces and you um, go a couple months in and then your teeth start getting used to it. It feels like they're not really moving. It feels like nothing's really happening. It just feels like there's like these braces on your teeth. So that's why I like to go get my teeth tightened. And I feel like with braces, I have the tiniest bit of a lisp sometimes when I talk. Like when I say certain things and it just depends on how my teeth are feeling in the day. If they're sore or not. Um, but yeah, other than that, braces have been a great journey. I've had an awesome experience with my orthodontist specifically. Like I said, I go to the office of Reen and Reen. I'm not going to say which one because there are creepers in this world. And I'm all set with that. But other than that, yes, I go to their office. They're awesome. Um, my orthodontist has been amazing to me and so has everybody in the office itself. So that's a good one there. And then just to think little pros and cons still with the braces of course food is gonna get stuck in them that has been probably my least favorite thing about braces is just like constantly having to clean them after every time you eat so that that way you don't look crazy and at least for me I smile and I laugh a lot and like the worst is when I don't know that there's something in my teeth and I'm out here <laughs> laughing up a storm and then yeah um, the real ones that tell me like hey girl you got something stuck in your teeth I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys because you saved me from looking crazy. Um, I don't know why is it that people think that um, it's better to not let somebody know, like say if they have their zipper down or if they have something stuck in their teeth or if they have a booger, like save them from that embarrassment. I always will be like, hey, 
let me bring it to the side a little bit and help help somebody out you know what else with the braces um colors so i've had enough visits to know which ones are my favorite colors so far and i still have stuck to the silver and the black as you can see right now i have the silver on my teeth i had black the last two visits that i went and i do appreciate the black i just feel like the black makes my teeth look whiter obviously because it's black and then the silver i like the silver because it kind of just looks like i would like to say like teeth jewelry like people have asked me when I have the silver on at least they've asked me if I have that piercing that hangs over my front two teeth and I don't I just have braces so that's pretty cool so that's the reason why I like the silver one um, again and both the silver and the black don't get stains so I haven't had to deal with like staining or anything like that um, every single time they're a one until I get to my next brace appointment and they just take them off and replace them so maybe in like February and stuff when like the holidays come around maybe I'll switch but honestly I don't see myself with colors I'm such a neutral person that I just like colors that'll match with everything as corny as that sounds but the silver and the black goes with every single outfit that I wear um, and I just enjoy those colors cuts and stuff that's another thing so cuts I have gotten them I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have gotten them and when you do get the cuts it's, it does hurt it does hurt um, I say that I've experienced um, when I was laughing before, so I know that when I went on my cruise, I had like two big cuts inside of my cheeks, um, because I just kept on clenching down and like laughing and doing all of these movements, and I messed up the inside of my cheeks. I had some really bad like cuts, and every single time like you smile or you do another movement that cuts into them again, it literally feels like you have a cut and it's getting cut over and over and over again, which is not a pleasant feeling. So the wax, that comes in clutch. I'd keep even, honestly, go to when you go to your orthodontist, keep the wax, keep it in like, I keep mine all in the drawer. I will show you. I have all of my wax packs. All of my wax packs because they come in clutch when you need them. And I've experienced, not so much, I'm not going to say I don't have, like, I feel like if you take care of, like, your mouth and then the way you pronounce things, if you just switch it up a little bit or... You can kind of work around it and understand what parts of the braces will cut into your like your cheeks and like your gums. So I just try and like avoid it honestly. And so far, so far it's been good. I haven't like had any issues where like I've broken a bracket or, or a wire. I'm sure it's gonna happen. Um, it's just bound to happen when you're eating a bunch of things and putting stuff into your mouth. So. <sighs> Fingers crossed it doesn't happen anytime soon. And honestly, I'll take it if I don't ever have to deal with that. So that's my brace update so far. I told you guys it was going to be a shorter video. I just wanted to get one out there for you guys so you can see how my teeth look now. And when I get the bottom ones in like a month or two, whenever they decide to put it on, I will be back with another update braces video so you guys can see how it looks with both of them, the top and the bottom. And then you guys can see like how I'm doing, how I'm dealing with the pain, if it was worse than the top, if the top was worse than the bottom, and the whole shabam. So just stay tuned for the next video. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the ones so far. I know there's not many, but I know that these videos helped me so much when I was going to get my braces and just deciding, you know, whether I wanted Invisalign or if I wanted braces, like the actual wires and all of that jazz. So I hope these videos are helpful to you guys. And yeah. Stay tuned for my next braces update video. Thank you guys for watching. Like if this video did help you. Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you have a great day or night depending on where you're at and what time you're watching this. Bye. <laughs>